team building activities to die for. So uh, you got my attention. What 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 what's up with that? Well, they seem to be very popular right now. Uh, we actually experienced one this past weekend. Uh, it was a total weekend event, and it was sold out. So there's a little bit of drama. There's a little bit of intrigue. There's that piques interest, and they seem to be very popular. Wonderful. So you you got me. What? So what is it? Oh, okay. So we partner with um, an artist group that comes in and actually has actors and we have a meal that is incorporated into the theme. And these themes can be um, customized to the group, to what is trending nowadays. Uh, there's all kinds of options. In fact, there are over 50 different themes that we can choose from mm. to customize the event towards a group. Um, and then the whole evening is built around solving the murder, solving the puzzles. Murder. As a group. It can be by table, it can be by segregated group, or you can do it, if it's a small group, you can do it as a small group effort. Mm, okay, great. So um, we've talked about and several times about um, you're getting quite a, quite a few requests for this. So what why is it why are people really gravitating what, what makes this so interesting by the way well it's just something different and combined with food i mean how can you go wrong right absolutely and, and the actors are very good they're in costume of course so mm. they just immerse the group into the evening and uh we always work with our contacts to make sure that we've got their theme their uh kind of key results area included in the program so that it's a value to them as a team building event, not just a fun evening with food and beverage. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So could, could this be hosted at any event? Does it take a particular venue team? I mean, is it, is we, it we, we're actually hosting one for lunch because the group didn't have any other time, hmm. but they love the idea. So we're doing a lunch mystery, which adds a little, um, I guess intrigue because it's not dark right. and you have to set the stage and uh, the actors are just really excited because this is the first one we've done here at this mm. venue at, for a lunch murder mystery. Oh, very cool. That's uh, that, that sounds really exciting. Um, so could you try, describe a little bit more in detail uh, of the recent uh, when you just, I guess you just had on this weekend. Yes. Um, so, of course, we, we put the um, the theme out and the actors come in uh, and kind of set the stage. Mm. Then then you can have a beverage and we can do a beverage pairing with each of the courses. So the, the food also has something to do with the end result, the drama. Um, so I didn't attend the one this weekend, so I'm not uh, I'm not real versed in giving you a play by play. But I do know that it's it's almost like the um, board game Clue. Oh, that's, okay. how, yeah. that's how they work it. So okay. you've got different actors and they they give you different clues and then work to solve what the end result is. Great. Okay. Is, do you find it applicable for really any group or do you see a particular... Um, I have to cut that out. I just messed it up. Do you find that uh, it, this particular activity fits better with uh, some groups more so than others? Um, I think we can customize it so that any group, uh, we've actually done one for a religious group and they didn't include any alcohol, of course, mm -hmm. uh, but they enjoyed it. They enjoyed working together to solve it. Again, it's just um, something different. It's right. not the run of the mill conference where you go to class and you break out and you come back and you report and everybody goes home and either something is done to change or it's not. This is pretty much just to see how we work together, hmm. how we learn each other's mode of problem solving, how we uh, work together as a team again to achieve a result. So if it's who murdered you know, Mr. Mustard in the library, <laughs> if it right. were, they, right. they do right. a little more, it's a little more involved than the board game clue, but it's, it's on that order. But oh, okay. again, it's just, um, 
you know, the companies can see how employees work together to, to solve problems in, in everyday events based on how they interact with each other on these little short uh, interludes and, and um, on, you know, just venues. Gotcha. Okay. So winning team, is it for bragging rights only, or we're talking prizes, money? What's, what's the, what's up for grabs? Uh, all of the above. Nice. All of the above. Some of the groups, it's basically the bragging rights. Others have put prizes for the winning teams, including we had one group that gave a uh, $250 gift certificates Wow. to be used. Yes. Um, others have just, um, you know, tried to solve for certain um, privileges here at the resort while they're while they're visiting us. So it's it's across the board, all of the above. It, it's customized. Wonderful. Hey, that sounds amazing. Um, I was asking when we were on uh, what what's uh, what's going on with, uh, with Rob and Pauline these days. Share some <laughs> secret sauce that's working for you right now. Oh, I think since our last visit, Corey, I actually celebrated 20 years of being here. Wow. Uh, doing this. I know, that's so exciting. That's incredible. It is incredible. And uh, just to watch the changes here have been just amazing. Also, I mean, we sell differently than we did when I first started. Mm. You know, we actually mailed contracts and we use the fax machine. You're kidding. Just no, I'm not kidding. And Axe? just the other day. Oh my F -A -X. god. And so just the other day, one of our younger conference planners uh was asked if they could fax a document. And they're like, I've never used a fax machine in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that's a, yeah. I, I uh coming from the uh the good old days, I actually find that very endearing. So bring on the fax machine. Right, right. So uh, those changes have just, just been, it's been great to see. Uh, across the board, the industry has changed so much. And of course, you know, several different events, such as 9-11, changed us. Right, forever. absolutely. And of course, COVID has changed us forever. So how we approach events, how we contract events, and then the follow-up, how we deal with um, issues such as cancellation postponement, rescheduling, those kind of things. You're so spot What's on. What's going on with me? Wonderful. And you guys have always been big on relationships. Um, do you see that even more valuable now that, you know, we've had a, a time to reflect on uh, oftentimes because of what has happened, it, 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 we've really distilled the things that don't matter and have really gravitated and, and had opportunity to reflect on things that are important to us, i.e. Oh. relationships, right? Absolutely. Relationships are more important than ever because of all the things that have happened. You know, our contracts, uh, we want to be protected as a hotel, but sure. our client wants to be protected as well. They don't want to lose their money. They don't want to lose the return on investment. So yes, relationship is so important to deal with the crisis of cancellation of, you know, the whole office getting COVID. And of course, you know, they, they couldn't come. So we want to be a good corporate partner and partner with our clients so that everybody wins. It's a win-win rather than everybody loses. Right. And people remember that, right? When, when, when things have been tough and, um, there hasn't often, sometimes there hasn't been that flexibility or empathy that we've, we've talked about. Right. And I think that those things stick, they stick out with, with, with our with our partners our, our and our customers and clients they remember those times when you when you were able to solve problems together rather than hey i got one up on this person because this particular disclaimer had an, a, an extra word in it where their case may be that's not how you guys roll for sure that is not how we roll absolutely it it serves really no purpose to behave in that manner so we we like our behavior to be where our mouth is and and we want again we want to accomplish a win-win on both parts um so that we can establish future relationships come back and see us again hopefully those issues will be in the rear view and we can move forward and and have a good uh conference a good uh meeting convention whatever it is 
down the road. Love it. It's fantastic, Rob. And thank wise words as always. Thank you so much for your time and uh, have a great rest of the week. You as well, Corey. Have a great day. Thanks. Team. Thank you.